Well, the next person I'm going to talk about is one of those people I probably feel the closest to here on this particular site. That's saying something for some of the people that I know on here. And that particular person is Gary Anakin1814. Somebody I've always admired as a vlogger. I think he's an absolutely brilliant vlogger. I know that some people probably think that we're quite similar in the way that we talk about things and talk for a long time about certain subjects as well. And that's one of the things that I'll probably come to. How I got to know Gary, as I got to know a lot of people actually, was through the um, This Is Our Vloggerhood video, which is something that I'm sure will crop up quite a few times throughout this series of videos. And when I did that particular video, I did that with Kurt and uh, with Mark the Frozen Ghost primarily. And Kurt pointed me towards a video while we were sort of planning it and talking about it. Kurt pointed me towards a video of Gary's. I didn't know Gary at the time. Um, and I think Kurt hadn't long discovered him as well. And he'd done a particular video, his Respect Campaign video, which I may well actually put a link up to because it's still a very, very good video. And I know uh, Gary was talking about sort of revisiting it in some ways. Excellent video, very well worth watching. So after that, obviously watched a few more of his videos and thought, yeah, I like this guy. He's, he's, as I said, he's a very good vlogger. Like the way he talks, like the way he thinks, etc. as well. And like me, a lot of sort of unedited sort of things. So <laughs> right down my street, so to speak. So um, we sort of started rebounding off of each other. We sort of found that we felt very similarly and thought very similarly about certain topics. We had a common bond in music, something else that's going to come out a lot on these particular videos as well. Uh, he's a, uh, Gary's a great music fan, likes a lot of different styles of music, don't always agree on certain things with music, but you know, the great love of the Beatles and U2 and people like that, and um, we found that we sort of thought about things very similarly and that's been sort of um, very brought to, to bear I suppose by the amount of video responses that we've done to each other but especially some time ago when we sort of continually sort of bouncing off of each other someone had put a video up the other person would feel compelled to respond in some way etc etc and it used to go on and on I found myself sometimes thinking no I can't really respond to this one because I responded to the last two or three but it was just a the way that we felt about things that there's sort of similar things coming coming off and um, something that I found actually I don't know but I'd love to hear Gary's thoughts about this actually but um, how I've kept lost count of the amount of times that I've seen the word sort of scary or spooky or weird about the, that we found that we sort of thinking about the same sort of things or I found that we've got the same sort of interests in music books films or something I know Gary's a great film but more than I am we've got exactly the same type of iPod etc the same color and I know sort of silly little things like that and so I suppose it was inevitable that we'd um, meet up at some time and it says something I think for somebody and how you how you feel a, a bond between them I suppose that someone can sort of make you well, make you but uh, encourage you maybe to sort of fly across the Atlantic on your own to meet up with somebody as it happens with two people with Mike as well and to spend and plan to spend a complete week seven eight days uh, with each other's company you know and none of us uh, I'd never spoken to uh, Gary before we sort of talked about Skyping and this sort of thing but it's one of those things that have never actually come off and um, we'd only sort of emailed and messaged and that sort of thing that's fair enough we always knew I think well I, I certainly always knew that uh, we would hit it off as as happens with other people as I probably will relate in other videos you know if you if you've form a friendship, a bond or something with somebody on this particular site, you can bet your life, if they're a true to life, and I think most of the people that I interact with certainly are, um, that you're going to get on with them. What you see is what you get, and that's certainly what it's like with Gary. A, a very popular person, that's something that I found out actually, certainly at South Tube and that as well, is how popular he is. Then there's a very good reason for that, because he's a nice guy. But meeting up in Chicago, we had a great time there, and obviously with Mike as well and the road trip and which is something that we all wanted to do and I think something sort of realised a dream for myself and also for Gary as well I think because that was something that I'd always wanted to do the sort of drive through America and it's something that I've relayed as well and if I needed any sort of reminder uh, to look back on those particular times and it's a great sort of seven eight days that I had there and I'd, I'd like to thank both of the guys for, for giving me a, a wonderful time in some ways um, it's just look back at those videos that were made between us especially the ones that were made between the three of us myself Gary and Mike either in Chicago or and uh, I think ultimately the best ones as far as I'm concerned 
from personal point of view, were the ones that we made in Elizabethtown with that sort of uh, unscheduled detour, and we made uh, three videos that particular night, and and it was it just shows to me what it was like being there and having that sort of bond, that uh, friendship, that relationship between the three of us. But obviously, especially with Gary, I will come to Mike in another video as it happens. But so there you go. As I said, all I need to do is look back on that. If you don't know Gary, and I'm sure you do already, look over there. As I said, a very, very good vlogger, great video maker, uh, has been a help to me and sort of persuaded me to get a new computer, um, a good editor, and I know he's looking at that sort of thing as well. So uh, an inspiration, I think, to a lot of people. So um, he's introduced me to a lot of people, and I've introduced him to a few as well, I think. But uh, I think he's probably, I've got more subscribers <laughs> than he has in that respect. So thanks to him for the friendship. Thanks for that great time over there in America. And we really must do it again sometime. I know I'd, I'd certainly like to. Gary has talked about coming over here to the UK at some time, and that'd be great. I'd love to sort of show people around my part of the world as well. So as he did with his part of the world, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. So Gary Anakin 1814, check him out over there. I'm sure you know him already, and if you don't, you really ought to. Anyway, thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.